the 64th gamers banjo kazooie walkthrough part 7. Wow, I almost said Pokemon Black 2. That was embarrassing. And I'm going to smash these eyes over here on the second floor of Mantellus Lair to get a GD. And this is soulmate 4 in the lair. And I'll catch you guys back up on floor 4. And now to floor 5. And now I'm about to show you a glitch that I love doing after I smash this first. And grabbing everything in here. And, and it kind of sucks that there's really low frame rate in this specific floor. I mean, it just kind of sucks. And the low frame rate shouldn't belong in the game. And you have to activate that first in order to do the glitch. Well, you have to activate it in general. <laughs> so... So basically what you're gonna have to do... Is not... I didn't do it quite yet, but... You... You want to use the shock spring jump to land on the top of the mummy's head and I feel but while I'm at, uh, while I'm at it I got an Ikabookum token uh, and then yeah just basically get on the mummy's head and then I'll explain what you do after that once after I stop failing now oh, shut up and you have to do the AZ trick somewhere on the mummy's head 47 centuries later. Why is it taking so finally about time? So yeah, that's how that's the glitch that I wanted to show off. And now to floor six. So I fast forwarded everything here because I figured it'd be really, really, really boring if I just had it at normal speed. So, I sped up everything to make things go faster, and I just showed off the first possible shortcut, transferring you from floors 2 to 6. And these note doors are way beyond our magical level, so ignore them. For now, at least. And let's go ahead and talk to Bruntilda. Yes, tap those on toast, slug stew. Uh, eyeball ice cream. And we do the trick to prevent fall damage. And now we head back to the fourth floor. And I already talked to Gruntilda there in the last part. Ah, shut up, Gruntilda. You're worthless. And we're done here. Here's Gruntilda again. Broomstick racing, I think they said. Uh, whatever, just... Pause, pause the video if you want to tell what those fiends are trying to say. And... Why am I walking? Why am I walking? Alright, now... I'm not actually starting my run quite yet. Keep your eyes open for a new... Ooh. I'm right here, you idiot! Uh, Mr. Waffles. Who's married to Professor Juniper? Miss Wolfies! But that was not the actual run. We're gonna start the actual run after I unlock the fifth world. So you want to grab these boots. Walk, 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 walk. Do not disable them. You can disable them manually by pressing B, but they but after a certain amount of time they uh, they and disarm themselves and it's and the videos back to normal speed and there's a pop-up during my narration but I'm going to ignore it so freezy easy a peak and I'm heading over here to unlock something special and we cannot access it until we change it to something Something. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. But it's not gonna be in this part. It's probably gonna be in the. It's gonna not be until part nine. Duh. And 
now we are actually starting the run on Bubble Goop Swan. Alright, level four, here we go. And do part of me because I did actually miss something while I was recording. And uh, then I realized I had 50 golden feathers already. And we have a Jinjo over here. Grab it. You cannot access it with the world's secret form. I must warn you. And these enemies are really, really hard to kill. They'll give you a really annoying time and almost fell into the toxic swamp, which takes away your health. Don't know what I mean? I'll show you later. And here's a failed attempt, but I'm showing it on stream because I did grab some items and I wanted to show them off. And it'll probably confuse you if I, like, and this did not show the fail. And then I realized I still had enough time. So I raced back to the GD. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. Why did I just fail? And I went this way because I realized I forgot something. So I would have had to go back anyways. Shut up, Grindelda! I mean, you're immediately, and that's what happens when you, that's what happens when you land in the toxic swamp. It takes away your health by one stake. So shoot an egg into its mouth. Yeah. And then it'll show up there. That's where we just were. And now we head back. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. What do you use? What? Oh, what do you do? You run. Oh, I like to run when you. You run away from the adventures. And I fell here not once, but twice. But at least third time's always the charm. So if I failed here, then I probably would have not had another chance to recover on this attempt. But I did succeed for all you guys that like spoiler alerts. So grab the jiggy. And level four, this is where the pain really begins. I mean, level four. And I mean, it doesn't really begin now, but there's like a really, really, really evil part of the level <sighs> that I don't feel like mentioning now. It just reminds me of the dark times. And I almost fell. And that pop-up during my narration is still annoying me. Even though the, re the actual recording was actually played on an actual Nintendo 64. Now we take care of this golden alligator that really is wasting my time right now. And it will show up right there. And why do I have my epic British accent? Because I like being epic. And I really need to restore my health. So thank you, Honey High, for restoring my health. And now we continue with our torture session. And this is the shortest part of the walkthrough so far, but there's gotta be a part even shorter for you guys that like spoilers. But that's completely off topic. And why didn't I kill that? Come over here, you son of a gun. Die! Die! Yeah, I hate these guys. I think they're called... Libits, if I'm correct. 
but I could be extremely wrong. But we finally killed him after like almost a minute. And I failed. So I disarm it and then regain my power. And I forgot my epic accent. I mean, and I forgot what I said. See, I can't even remember 10 seconds ago. That's proof I have short term memory loss. But I actually do know the game quite well, so technically, I do and don't have short term memory loss. And if you do CA, not AZ, you get an extra life. And I did the wrong trick. I meant wrong trick. So, CB! And then. So, smash the egg for JD, and that's all I'm going to cover for this episode. So, next time we will not finish but continue in this world. So, see you guys next time. Goodbye.